Here we have a 21 plate Volkswagen Golf R4 Motion DSG. Now this vehicle comes with the 19 inch alloy wheels, all of which in excellent condition and unmarked with the blue brake calipers behind. We also have the deep black exterior paintwork, LED headlights with the blue stripe that runs through them and also across the front grille. There's a look at that front end with a Volkswagen badge in the centre. Round to the passenger side, you can see the second alloy wheel again in excellent condition just down here. We also have the colour coded door handles, silver door mirrors, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass as well. We also have the shark for antennae up top with the rear spoiler. Front and rear parking sensors with a visual display inside. We then have the quad tip exhaust at the back with the rear diffuser. If we just open up the boot, so as we come closer, we'll be able to lift the boot up like so. You see we have a decent amount of space inside of here. We do have hooks on either side. As we take a closer look, you can see just there. We also have the partial shaft as well at the top. Now I've just closed the boot and then coming back round to the driver's side, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. So if we take a look then at the interior, in the back you'll find we have the half leather seats. We do have the colour combination of the grey, black and blue. Really nice interior inside of here, we have the fixed ISO points and also the affordable armrest in the centre. Vents in the centre for the rear passengers. We also have the brush metal door handles and electric windows on the doors. Taking a look at the front, you find the same half leather interior. Got the R logo embroidered on both the front seats just there. Both these front seats are also heated, and there's a quick look at both of them. We also have the heated electric mirrors, electric windows with char lock for the rear, automatic lights. We then have the multifunctional steering wheel, which is also heated. If you just take a seat inside, you find the digital dashboard in front of us. Put our foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle will start up. We do have the adaptive cruise control here on the left hand side, along with the heat steering wheel button just here on the right. We have the R mode as well, which is a nice little shortcut button to turn put the car into the R mode. We also have the digital dashboard, free from any warning lights. You can change the view by using this side of the steering wheel. So if you click onto view, now you can change the display, plenty of different displays and different layouts for the dashboard as you can see just here as we quickly go through some of them. We also have the main infotainment screen in the centre, currently showing the radio stations. We do also have the media options just here. But if you go onto the main menu, scroll across just here, you find all these different features. We do have the sat nav navigation, which can have the map just like so. Then back onto the main menu, we can also go onto the App Connect where you find Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Back again, we also have the background ambient lighting, you set your own individual colour, or you can choose from any of these set moods. Back again, we can also scroll further down, further features just here with the assist systems making it a very safe vehicle to drive. We do have the climate control as well with the Asgard air conditioning, heat seats on either side. We do have the different drive modes just here. You see sport, race, individual and comfort. Further down you'll also find two type C USB ports. We then have the wireless fail charging underneath there. Automatic gearbox which if you put the car into reverse you find the parking sensors appear on the screen. Put it back into park by pressing P. We then have the electric handbrake, auto hold button, cup holders and a leather armrest as well. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT and free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this Volkswagen Golf R4 Motion and DSG. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle it drives as expected to. And as you can see, I'm not to fight the steering wheel to keep in a straight line, not being enough to left or to right hand side. Now we're doing the multifunction steering wheel, which is also heated and be activated by pressing the button here on the right hand side. Of course we have the paddle shifters either side if you want to set the car into manual mode, simply tap while the paddles to change gear. We then have the adaptive cruise control as well on the left hand side along with the volume buttons. Digital dashboard as well in front of us which will show different displays and different features that you've seen on the walk around video and also on the photos. Now if you're doing carefully as well from the video test drive, you'll also notice you'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. 
Now we do have the half leather cloth interior, really comfortable seats, you can easily do two, three, with 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both front seats are also heated, which is perfect for them in cold winter mornings. We also have many more features as well in the interior of the vehicle, with the ambient lighting which looks really nice, especially at night time, with the main screen in the centre which is currently shown the sat-nav, again plenty of features as well you've seen on the photos.